Hello and welcome to RT Ministries. My name is Dwayne and this is, I'm going to do another Let's Talk segment. Let's talk about Matthew 6, 6. Excuse me, Matthew 7, 6. I see a lot of people out there debating and, you know, people have rejected the gospel and they still try to talk them into it. You know, Matthew 7, 6 says, Do not give what is holy to dogs and do not throw your pearls before swine or they will trample them under their feet and turn and tear you to pieces. What does that mean for us? Let's talk about that. Let's talk. There are some people that need... There are, everybody needs the gospel, right? We all know we need to point out the condition of people. We need to you know, tell them they need Christ. But some people take it. Other people listen. Other people don't listen. Other people mock. If somebody's mocking you when you're telling them the gospel, don't... Here it says, do not. It's a command. Do not give what is holy to dogs. The gospel is holy, right? All the word of God... The, Especially the wonderful good news is such a holy thing. It says don't give what is holy to dogs. And there are people who are dogs out there that completely mock what you're saying, completely ridicule, you know, they completely mock you, then they turn to God and mock Him. That's the time to close your mouth and walk away. Don't give what's holy to dogs. You know, and I know people say, well, I want that person to be saved. Well... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a little insight here about the Bible. The Bible says you can't save anybody. You're not out there to save. You're out there to tell. God is, does the saving. You tell the gospel. God does the saving. But in telling the gospel, do not give what is holy to dogs. And there's a lot. Of, again, make a decision. Make a judgment. If this is a dog you're talking to who is mocking you and mocking the Lord, stop. Don't give what's holy to him. Why? It says, do not give us holy dogs and do not throw your pearls before swine. Now, pearls in the Bible days were like diamonds to us. They were very precious. To them, they're like diamonds to us. What happens when you throw, in today's world, what happens when you throw diamonds to a pig? What will do with it? <laughs> They'll trample it under their feet. Right? They don't know what, they don't care about diamonds. In order, there's some people out there that care about the gospel. You're giving pearls to pigs. When you give somebody a message and they reject it and then they take it farther and mock you. Because they're taking it and making it something unholy, you know. They're trampling it before their feet. So they'll trample it on their feet and then they'll turn and tear you to pieces. They'll come after you. They'll mock you and then mock you so bad. You know, whatever country you're in, it doesn't matter. Don't give pearls to swine. Because some people will use it against you. Again. The heart of me is I want to save people. I want to save everybody out there. I would love if everybody gets saved. But I know according to the Bible, most people go to hell. That's the reality of the whole message. Most people turn from Jesus Christ, will not come to Him, don't love Him, don't want Him, and they die in their sins. Again, this is a command. Don't forget about how holy the gospel is. It's a message straight from God meant to save people. People get saved through hearing the gospel. Through the foolishness of preaching, people are saved. Again, take salvation out of your hands. You don't save people. You can't talk people into it. You can't goad them into going to church. You know, I see, I've heard, I see people goading people to go to church. Well, why would an unsaved person go to church? You know, you... Again, they try to bring them to salvation like it's a step system. You know, they'll get them a little bit closer to God. Is that possible? No, it's not possible to get people closer to God. Somebody who's dead in their trespasses and sins cannot get closer to God. They're either black or they're white. They cannot get closer without the Holy Spirit there rejuvenating them and, and making that person born again. Without the Holy Spirit coming in and making them born again, opening their mind up so they can understand you will never be saved. I see a lot of people giving what's holy to dogs and giving pearls before swines out there. You know, a lot of times Jesus kept his mouth shut. He didn't, he didn't answer every question. He didn't... Just be, there's some people who ask you questions just to get into an argument and just to mock you and just to mock God. And, and Ladies and gentlemen, please use your judgment and try to figure out who's, who's doing that. If they're doing that, don't feed your pearls before swine. Let it go. Leave them, leave them up, leave it between them and the Lord and move on to other people who will listen. I'm going to read Matthew 7, 6 again. Do not give, command, do not give what is holy to dogs. And do not throw your pearls before swine or they will trample them under their feet. 
and they do trample Christ. If they trample on him, stop. If you do not stop, they'll keep mocking you and they might even do something worse to you. And there's a lot of countries around this world where they'll even do something worse to you. You could get killed, you could, you know, you could wind up in jail, you could do all kinds of stuff just because you keep giving pearls to swine. No matter what country you are, there's people that'll take that pearl and it'll be of that pearl of great price. They'll hide, they'll, they'll know what it is and they'll be saved and they'll, <laughs> they'll cherish it, but do not give it to dogs. So let's talk. Be simple here. If somebody isn't listening, mocking you, stop talking to them. Turn and go to somebody else. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye.